How's it going guys? Hope y'all are doing great. This is Evlog coming to you live and welcome back on another episode on Made in Abyss Season 2, Episode 5. Now, on the previous episode, Rico, Nanachi and Reg had their own turmoil that they have to deal with. Uh, Rico was saved by Ma and they went off together. Nanachi, towards the ending of the previous episode, was invited to this secret place. And upon her arrival, in the middle of or in front of this big dragon looking creature, lies Mitty. And there's this character that we saw towards the end that I thought was Mitty's original body. So, without further ado, let's check out the next episode and see what took place. After all this time, they reunite again, but Now, that huge creature opened its eyes. And what I'm not sure is if that woman, that girl we saw towards the end, is the one controlling this huge creature, right? I'm not sure if that woman is seeing through this creature's eyes to minister to people that comes in that place for help, seeking some type of... um. Uh, 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 um, fulfillment you know what I mean and I believe in during this opening you see that woman again that girl yeah that's her and if I remember correctly she was from the big she was one of the first settlers that came to this sixth layer in the past the ganja people right so uh, Rig, on the other hand, has his own issues that he has to deal with. You know, three of them have their own issues that they are dealing with right now. And I'm looking forward to see how they're going to overcome all of it. So. He's being chased by a tall, thin? <laughs> oh, that's what has been chasing him. Rig is asking, how is this thing going to pursue him? You better recognize it will pursue you. And he knows that. Ooh. Damn. Look. He chipped his arm. That means that is true. Ooh. <laughs> this thing. This thing can actually fight. This thing is demo demobilizing Riggs Arsenal. Yeah, you don't want to go messing with that thing again. Is it top bind? That's what that thing is called.
This thing can talk this whole time. So he's going, <laughs> he, he was walking the wrong direction. <laughs> oh boy. He has the same arm. The same arm as Rig. You must restore your missing data. That must be data Reg no longer has. Interference does not cross layer. Iriburu, the village. So that means someone made the same person, the same uh craft that made this guy is the same one that made the rig except that rig looks more like a human than that big big guy hmm. hopefully my is not gonna steal anything anymore Come on. You just tease her. It's really interesting how some of them can speak and some of them can't speak but make weird noises to communicate. But they can all understand each other. <laughs> Iriburu, that's the name of that village. Yeah. He's actually picking it up. I, I feel like I feel like that box, that weird box that gave Rico her life back, infused so many history inside her about this layer or this abyss. That's why she's able to adapt through anything that she goes through inside this abyss.
we instantly feel beaten down. Ah. Hmm. This place, Iriburu, looks so fishy, man. It looks so shady. It looks shady, man. I mean, isn't it time she finds her mother? Because if she would be anywhere, you should be here, right? The sixth layer. Or maybe there are different sides. Oh, those are those gooey looking creature then from the previous episode. My scared. Mm. Uh huh. That that girl from the previous episode, towards the ending of the previous episode. It looks like she's in prison or something. She's a human in the sixth layer. Very Oroko. Very Oroko. Very Oroko. That's her name. still alive this whole time remember that they are from the, from the first uh individuals that came to this abyss to explore right how did she know about that Hopefully this is not a trick, huh? Are you a bad person or something? <laughs> That's a good question, Rico. And why is she pet petting these things? She got cursed. Hmm. So this is actually a spiritual place. You took it off.
You guys know everything that happens in this abyss has a good side and a bad side. It means that there are consequences in everything. Hopefully that thing that teared Ma apart will not come after Rico. Hmm. What about if Fuputa sees a uh, Vyoriko? What would she say? Because if we remember correctly, uh, Fuputa and Vyoriko, they were part of the first uh, settlers that seeked out for this abyss and the sixth layer, right? Why can't she go in there? This is not gonna be good. Like, Ma did something bad and we saw what happened to Ma. Ma was teared apart into pieces actually. So let's hope that there is no consequences for rescuing her. Yeah, this is where Nanachi is. Utsukushi. Belaf. So themselves? What? Why would why will Nanachi make such a decision? Oh, so that's what happened. So she's been observed into fa Fabu.
Ooh, bond read. Hmm. So, Bellof has also gone up there to to Brandwit. Give your whole body in negotiation. Rico, you better think about this. Twi no, 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 no. Eyes or butt legs or half of your inner. <laughs> Rico, you better watch out. Don't give anything. No. <laughs> Rico, don't give anything. Give nothing, man. Isn't it? Oh boy, that part, that last part, just reminded me of um, Full Metal Alchemist just now. Just what is going on or what is about to take place if Rico ever ever offers either her hands, her legs, her organs. This thing is even asking for her organs, right? Her eyes, you know. It looks like it just felt like full metal alchemist. In order to get something, you need to offer something, a sacrificial uh, 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 part of your body, it, you know, to get that uh, crystal stone or that, what is it called again? Um, the stone, right? Because in order for Father to create those homunculi, he used parts of his body to create them. They are one with Father, if I believe. It's been a while, guys. Right? Oh, man. This thing, this fable just put Rico on this spot. Now, what will Rico do? Next episode, the Leorin. Next episode will, will be called the Leorin. Now, guys, this is uh, scary because we know that Rico is very desperate right now. She is in a desperate situation because she wants to save Nanachi because Nanachi has been very good to them. And she believed that Nanachi offered herself to this thing out of out of guilt if i will say that nanachi was so sad and has been missing miti this whole time and she barely showed any sign of her missing miti because if she didn't miss miti this much she wouldn't have succumbed herself she wouldn't have stood or go this low to offer her life force, her life to this thing, right? She did it. She did it out of guilt, because she believed that, you know, obliterating Miti's body will help Miti rest in peace. That was the reason why Nanachi asked Rig 
to obliterate make sure that there is nothing left of meaty because if there's anything left of meaty she will continue to regrow back and each time to regrow it it is such such a painful sight to watch have her body parts regrow back the the, the sight of it is just diabolical if you ask me so after all that sacrifice after going that far she comes here and sees meaty going through the same thing all over again this creature continues to take parts of meaty of meaty over and over and over again so ever since meaty's body has been obliterated through those times they went to Brund uh, Brunduid and fought him and all of that stuff. Ever since they made, they were making their way here, Miti's body has been observed over and over again. Because this creature, Fabu, said that she cannot observe Miti as a whole. That each time she takes something, it just regrows back. But this thing is greedy. Come to think of it, this Fabu thing is very greedy. Very, very greedy. Okay, she said that each time she takes something out of Meaty, she can't absorb all Meaty because Meaty's body, her essence continues to regrow. But you, you, you are absorbing her essence. Haven't what you've taken so far enough? I think on the next episode, Rico should ask this Fabu creature, what you've taken so far, isn't it enough? You've taken so much out of this creature, out of Meaty. So you should calm your ass down. You know what I mean? You should calm down and, and take what you've gotten. Right? But, and this creature did admit that he's greedy or she's greedy. The creature did admit it. I'm greedy. I mean, for Rico, she asked Rico to give all her body, all her life force. And again, having a human child or a human in a place like this, their body is very, very valuable. If you guys recall, when Rico first, Rico, Nanachi, and Rick first came in here, the way those creatures were touching her body and were even willing to see if she can trade it for something, right? Because her body as a human, it's so so much valuable it's very it's almost like gold or diamond right and again uh, to back up what i just said before rico came in here with ma right before she went to the other place and saw a uh, Vrerico, where she's been sealed which i will get to a uh, Vrerico in a moment before she went there she was somewhere else on the previous episode and those bad guys were about to rip her body apart so that they can use it as a valuable artifact or as a valuable uh, 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 wealth. You know what I mean? Thanks to that power that guides this whole place, came in and took care of those guys, right? So, going back to Veririko, she said that she was against the transfiguration of this place she was against the transfiguration this forming of this sixth layer and because of that she was sealed away so that means that this sixth layer was not like this before and if we observed when nanachi rig and riko first arrived the whole place looked like looked in ruins the buildings was in ruins and rig did look at a huge big clock and said, what is that a huge big pillar clock doing up there? And if you look at that pillar clock, it looked like it, it, it was a, it was part of a big building or some type of ornament or some type of artifact or some type of a secret uh, building. You know what I mean? So there is more to this abyss. And I believe when they finally go back to those first settlers that came into the abyss, I believe it will link up the reason why the abyss looks the way it looks because I believe that the abyss was not like this before something happened and again Verico just confirmed it she was against the transfiguration of this abyss 
uh, due to the fact that she was against it, they sealed her away. And now she is very afraid because if they know that she has escaped from their from her confinement, if they know that she has escaped out of her confinement, it will be troublesome. So <laughs> something tells me that if Paputa sees Vriorico again, I'm not sure how she's going to react due to the fact that Paputa is the queen of Halo. Uh, Manjika is kind of the mediator of everything. He couldn't even, he can't interfere and he couldn't do anything when uh, Nanachi offered herself to this creature. The question now that remains is what will Rico do on the next episode? What is she going to do? What type of deal is she going to make with this thing in order to get Nanachi back? How will she outsmart this creature? And another thing this um, scene reminds me of is um, Samurai Jack. For most of you guys or some of you guys that know about that show, that was this episode on Samurai Jack when Jack ran into these two creatures and they are twins and they had to make Jack guess their questions. And they tricked Jack and they swallowed Jack they ate Jack because they made him guess which one is real and which one is not or something like there's something within that line I'm not sure if any one of you have seen Samurai Jack the whole episode of Samurai Jack you will probably uh, remember that particular episode when Jack ran into these two creatures and they asked him a question and if he answers it wrong uh, he will be devoured and Jack, as smart as he was, uh, he didn't do a good job in the end. And they tricked him in order because he was looking for a path to get back home, right? They tricked him and swallowed. And when he was finally swallowed, he actually met people that has been swallowed as well and asked them. So it was a wrong answer anyways, or so there was no right or wrong answer, or there was never a right answer to begin with. And those people in the belly of of one of those beasts said no there was no right answer so um i'm going to digress it here thank you guys so much for joining on this reaction feel free to share your thoughts and let me know what you think about it what do you think rico's answer will be on the next episode what do you think will happen now that Rico has been rescued out of our confinement will it destabilize the stability of this sixth layer or the people that put it together and that place called Iburu or Iburu or something like that village is very mystical you know there is there is more to it than meets the eye and I believe that there are other parts of it that uh, Rico did, didn't have the chance to explore because remember there were tunnels right and the first tunnel Rico took brought her, took her to uh, Verorico. So there are other parts of it. And if she had explored the other parts of it, I'm sure she would have ended up some other place. So on that note, stay safe. Keep on keeping on.